in the Color K version kits, they get um, this little tub of textile medium and a paintbrush because if you've done my Color K method before, you know it's colored pencil on fabric, but to seal it so that that colored pencil doesn't rub off and brush on and crock to other areas of the fabric, then we use a textile medium. And because I wanted these kits to be everything that you needed to get it done, um, and they do have, they have the needles, the hoop, the fabric, the stabilizer. Um, these ones have everything but the colored pencils because you can just use any normal color pencil. Um, but because of that, I wanted to include textile medium as well, which is sometimes a little tricky to find. So we've got these little pots of textile medium that come in the kit and just a little paintbrush. And once you've done all this coloring, it's as simple as just getting a little bit on your paintbrush, keeping it quite close because you don't want to drip because it will stain, and then just painting over the colored area. Just enough for it to seal that color in. It doesn't have to soak through to the back, but sometimes you can paint so quickly that it also doesn't seal the color in, doesn't grab to the pencil. Now, if you're just going to frame this and it's going on a wall, then it, it doesn't matter so much. But if it's going on a quilt or clothing or something that will be moved and occasionally washed, then you have to be quite careful that you seal it well or else all that color will just brush off or brush across to another part of the quilt. Um, so these, these little... Um, embroidery kits are just sort of really designed just to be framed and displayed but that you might want to put it on a bag or something that will get grotty so we've included it so that you can complete the process and seal it and again it's just a matter of brushing over all the areas you've colored. Now you don't want to get it onto the background fabric because this sealer in particular that we're using will stain the background like a watermark. So that's why we just brush colored areas and be careful that we don't drip. So that's killed two birds with one stain. I've showed you how to do it and I've got this one still ready for stitching. So as simple as that, um, the brush you need to just wash out in some warm water. It is sort of a bit of like a glue, so it does gum up your brush. So you just wash that up in warm water. Um, and it's you know, not a hugely expensive brush because you don't want a good artist brush and then ruining it with the glue. And you just leave that to dry. I've just done it on the back of my sandpaper board. You can see it's actually gone through a bit and stuck to that like a glue. Um, but just do it on some baking paper or a surface that you can clean. Um, don't do it on your sandpaper side. And that's how you seal the colour pencil in for colour tape.